y'all, it's Vicki, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about my most used makeup of 2022. This is a collaboration with Marsha Johnson, and if you've not watched Martha Johnson, I'll have her up here, and I will also link her video below. She, she and I have been friends for quite a while now, over a year. Um talking to each other on Instagram and, you know, texting each other. And we are close in age. I'm a little older and we like a lot of the same things. And, but she has different needs for her skin versus me. I work. She doesn't. She works at home, but she works. And anyway, she doesn't have a nine to five. I'll put it that way or eight to five. <laughs> I think mine is 7.30 to 5 or whatever it is. Anyway, we're going to talk about our favorite makeup of 2022 or our most used. It's not favorite. It's most used. So make sure you check out Marsha's video. She's really a nice lady. I think you all will love her and probably a lot of you already know her. But if you haven't checked out her video, please do so. Also, I'm going to go ahead and make this a tag. Now, I did see uh, Risa does makeup and uh mandy davis do this video so it's i wasn't i'm not the one starting it but anyway i'm start i'm using it as a tag and a collab with marcia so make sure to check out marcia's video you'll love her all right i've got some notes here and i've got some products here and some i don't some i just i tell you i'm not feeling my best but anyway i just didn't have the energy i guess to try to find them but anyway i know in my head what I used and you know if you hear anything it's my mother upstairs so I hear the phone ringing now anyway she's got her TV on but anyway let's start okay I'm gonna start with tinted sunscreen because for me that is a makeup product because if I want to use that and nothing else I can I might apply a little powder over it but I like to say it can be a foundation if you want it to be a foundation course the one I used the most of was the Australian Gold Botanical 50 Tinted Face. This is medium dark I believe. Now I'll admit that when this first came out years ago I wasn't the biggest fan but I think I had too light a shade. I think the light color made me look too gray or something. When I bought the medium dark was when I really started to like it. So I and I will use this over my entire body if I want to. It dries down matte won't come off or it doesn't on me and I can't see me switching from this unless they quit making it and I hope they never quit making it now if there was a high-end one of course Elta MD is one I used a lot of but and I, I don't have it anymore I threw it out because it had expired but this is the Isden photo tinted sunscreen now this one is very bougie high-end I can't say this is supposed to have a lot of sunscreen, I mean, skincare ingredients, and maybe it does, but I don't know. I wouldn't pay $70 for it again. I'll put it that way to you. Now, I think I had a discount code when I bought it. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been so long, but it, it's nice, and if you want a bougie sunscreen that's mineral-based, water-resistant, then buy it, <laughs> but that would be the only reason to buy it. Alright, primer, of course, drugstore would be the NYX Angel Veil, which I did not bring out. And high-end would be either, uh, well, it's not really high-end to me. Milk Makeup, to me, is what I consider medium. <laughs> but the one that I would say that I used a lot of, maybe I didn't talk about much, because, you know, there for a while I wasn't making many videos, was the Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics oil primer. I do love this. I don't know what's going to happen to it because I don't know what's happening with her brand. I don't know if since Morphe has closed other stores and stuff, I'm assuming it will continue and she'll continue to be in Ulta. I, I just don't know. But anyway, this is a great oil based. Feels like silicone, but I don't think it is. But don't quote me on that. I can't remember the ingredients. Anyway, I do like it. Even though my skin is oily, it works well for me. 
All right, foundation. So we're going to get to, to the nitty gritty here. And I was going to do foundation last, but I thought, no, I'm not doing foundation last. All right. The one that I use the most, and I thought I put it in here, but it's not in here. All right, you may hear somebody come in. Evidently, somebody's coming. Anyway, it's the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. And it was the one I used the most of. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy it. Because it gave me milia. And after I quit using it, I realized that. So, love, hate, relationship with it. It does make your skin look beautiful. I liked it because it felt like I didn't have anything on. But I'm not going to wear it because it just don't agree with me. It's supposed to have skincare benefits in there. See, told you somebody be up there. Let me cut you off till they're gone. All right, you're just gonna have to listen to it because I gotta get this filmed. <laughs> anyway, all right, foundation. We talked with, about NARS. Okay, as I said, it was my most used, but it was not, it just didn't work for me after I quit using it. It is empty, I used it up. As far as another one that I used a lot of, was the Lancome Tint Adult Ultra Wear. Of course, this one came out after that one. Yeah. And I have 335W. Now, the NARS I had Santa Fe. I still don't, I still think I would like a darker color. And this one, I really enjoy using this one. I said I could quit using Enjoy this year. But I really, really found this worked well with my skin. So Lancome, NARS, the two high-end, luxury, whatever you want to call them. Drugstore, of course, CoverGirl, Outlast, in the red cap or orange cap, whatever you want to call it. You know, this one rivals. You know, it rivals them. Rivals higher priced ones. I'll put it that way. I could live on this one and nothing else if I had to but I like foundations and so I like to play now this one this Jane Iredell one came in you know at the end of the year so I'm not gonna put it in here but I do love this one I've already bought a new one so that should tell you something it'll probably be going in uh, 2023 all right concealer no matter how hard I tried and wanted to And it's not that I wanted to, I just want to, I just like to see what's out there. Nothing beats this one. The Maybelline Age uh, Rewind Racer and Corrector. No, don't get the others. So many people get the others. Get Corrector. <laughs> it does have that peachiness to it, but I mean, if you're my skin tone, that's what I want to say. If you're my skin tone, get Corrector. It. Yes, it has the peach tone to it, and that's what makes it beautiful. I mean, if you're even lighter than me, get corrector. I don't think you'll regret it because it just kind of, okay, I'm going to let it sit here on my hand and let, let, let you see what happens. Okay, as far as more, and not even, this is, you know, $22, and I guess he's redoing these. I don't know, but the Jeffree Star concealers, they're fantastic. That was the other one I used a lot of. The other one that came in kind of toward the end of the year that I was using a lot is the Temp Adol Ultra Wear from Lancome. I hope they come out with these in peachy shades. I don't know that they will, but I wish they would. You know, in correcting shades. I know they come out with some correctors in that creamier, the one in the tube, but I want, I want one. I want to teach one in this one, please. All right, powder foundation. Now, you know, the beginning of the year, I was using that e.l.f., and I really liked it, but really and truly, this is the one that I, I would buy again, and that's what I base it on. I, from June through whenever I feel like I need to touch up, this is where I go to. 
So this one has to be the most used because it goes with me everywhere I go. I have one in my desk. And like I said, this one goes in my bag everywhere I go because nothing touch up, touches up my face more than this does. So this is the one. And of course, like I said, drugstore would be the e.l.f. Camo powder foundation. All right, let's go. Setting powder. Of course, you know I love the Dior No Skin Powder, but it is on hiatus right now while they're reformulating, and who knows what it's going to be when it comes out. I did bring it over here so you could see, and it was what I used a lot. I, I mean, most of the year, I guess. I don't know. That's what it looks like. You know, I think this is only available at Sephora and on their website. You can't get it at the department stores. So I don't know what they're, I guess they're making it clean, vegan, all that stuff. So who knows when it'd be back out. But even if it did, I don't think it beats, even though I like it, love it, whatever. It doesn't beat this one. This is the Kosas Cloud Powder and nothing beats it. Nothing, nothing. And obviously other people think it's a trick. I have Aerie, which I think is the lightest one. I like to use it because it's more translucent, but now some people might want more color. I have thought about buying one in a dark color to see how it looked in a bronzer, as a bronzer. And I still may do that. Because nothing beats it, nothing, as far as I'm concerned. All right. I used to want the Givenchy powder, and I still would like to have it, but I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> I know I can't get it free, but anyway, as long as I'm this is around, I'm going to be getting it. I'm just going to pay the heck with the others, unless I got a real good deal on the Givenchy. All right. Bronzer. The Milani from the drugstore. And that is, I got 03 Suntan or... And this is really a, I guess, more contour, but the Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I have light medium. So this, it, this I would buy again for sure. And the Milani, I would probably buy again. I don't know. Well, they always come out with new bronzers, so who knows? But I definitely would buy this again. No doubt in my mind. All right. Eyeshadow. Of course, I used eyeshadow sticks more than anything. I used the Lisa Lisa D1 Christian Aldet eyeshadow stick. Uh, you can still get this one. You can see that concealer still there. If I would have blended it in some, it would have probably went away. Let's see. Let's rub it in just a little bit. Anyway, there you have the Christian Aldette pencil. Of course, the other one I really love is Mally's and Thistle. I also like the It Cosmetics, but really and truly, I would, I would say I also like the Sephora brand ones. They're $14. This one I bought, I hadn't opened it, but I have one in purple somewhere and I really like it. So I prefer probably Thistle but I also like the Sephora brands because they're not expensive at all. All right, where are we going? Oh, palettes, making mauves. Y'all know that, nothing, nothing like this making mauves from ColourPop. I ordered a newer one because mine was starting to show some age. So I ordered a new one, $14, maybe $16 now since they went up, but anyway, it's worth it. Uh, nothing, nothing compares to it, in my opinion. I do have Naked 3 Mini in here because I did use it a lot. And if you want a higher end one, then that would be the one, you know. Very similar, so what can I say? <laughs> All right, lips, lip liner. And I don't know that I put these in here because I have them in my purse and I forgot to get them out. 
Charlotte Tilbury, Crazy in Love. That's the one I would purchase again if I didn't have it, and it is the one I use probably the most. Drugstore, and I don't have it right now because I used it up and I knew that I needed to reorder, but I hadn't yet. But Tiramisu from Rimmel. It is in the thousand kisses that you sharpen. Do not buy the ones that just roll out. Only buy the ones from Rimmel that you have to sharpen. I can't stress that in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, liquid lipstick. City Beauty. Rosie Mall. Of course, y'all know that. One of the best colors out there for me is what I'm wearing today. Um, you know, that's the, the luxury or higher end. And then... The liquid lipstick is, of course, Lover from Maybelline. That's another one I use probably as, just as much. Okay, bullet lipsticks. And yeah, I'm breaking it down all the way. Bullet lipsticks. Charlotte Tilbury, Walk of No Shame. That's the one I prefer over any of them. Because I, I want some color on my lips. I don't want to look nude or naked. <laughs> um, and then, as far as drugstore, Milani, fetish, matte lipstick, or the moms, whichever one you want. You know, I go backwards and forth. I like to get the, the matte and then go over it with the balm. Did I bring a balm over here? Probably not. My favorite is Peony. I don't have it over here. And my favorite balm, I don't know. I'd have to list it. I can't remember off the top of my head. I probably should have looked. Maybe I wrote it down here on my little notes here. Let's see. Okay, uh, as far as, I wanted to give an honorable mention to this one from Clinique. This one stays in my drawer in my class at work. This is Plum Pop. You can see I've been wearing it. It was in a gift from Clinique. And I will buy a tube when it gets down. Uh, very nice color. You know, it's probably similar to the Walk on No Shame. But, you know, I, I really like this. If you, want, if you don't want to pay as much as a Charlotte Tilbury, then try this one. Because they're very similar. Okay. Lip gloss, high-end, of course, City Beauty. And I don't know if I brought one over here. Of course, the one that I like is San Diego, and I think it's Tinsel something. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll list them below. And as far as drugstore, okay. And, of course, I want to mention Buxom because, you know, Buxom is right up there as far as high end is concerned. You know, White Russian always stays here on my, my vanity. And I also like Celeste. That's the one that Lisa reads about. And I also like, I think this is Erica. No, this is Pink Lady. Pink Lady. That's it. I like it. So. There's those. All right, now that's all of my notes. The rest of it I'm just gonna have to, to do. Okay, lip gloss. I mean, lip balm. And I know lip balm could be in there with skincare. And I haven't decided if I'm doing this with skincare. I probably will. This is the, the Hanalei uh, Lip Treatment Clear. This is the one I use the most of. The second one, of course, would be the Laneige, Laneige, ever how you want to say it. This. Another one that I really like that stays in my desk. Forget the filler from Lawless Beauty. And they also have um, a really nice balm at night that I like. And, of course, Drugstore. This is a gloss, but anyway, is the lifter glosses from 
Milani, not Milani, Babylene. This is ice. I like ice, moon. That's all I can think of right now. Okay, brows, you know, I don't talk much about brows, but, and that's why I say it would be the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil, and then the Elf Brow Pencil for Drugstore. Okay, mascara. <laughs> Um, well, let's do eyeliners first. Physician's Formula from the drugstore. High-end is the one that I lost the lid to. The one size point made by Patrick Star. High-end. Although, it's not really that expensive to me. 20 bucks. And it lasts a long time if I didn't lose the lid. Let it dry up. Okay, and as far as waterline hot, it would be L'Oreal Smoldering or Urban Decay 24-7 and Empire. Those two, either one of those. I probably side with th this one more, I would say. All right, mascara. Of course, these are the two that I use the most, the Thrive and the Lancome Adol, those are the two I use the most. And I also use that uh, stack, matte stack, I use that a lot. Um, but those two are the two I would purchase again. Now, I really did like that matte stack to begin with, but as it aged, to me, it, it didn't do well. And that's what happens lots of times. In my opinion, these get better as they age, and that's what I want. This one, if, you, if you've if you not tried one of these, and I know you can try the Thrive, but it's, it's a little harder to get to me because you have to order, and to me, their shipping takes a long time. And unless you order so much, you have to pay shipping. I don't know why they don't go into a store, but anyway, and they were in... Ulta for a while, but I don't think they could keep the stock. All right, I'm back again. Let me fix this thing. Dave called me. I kind of got mad at him, and then I didn't tell him I was at home, so. <laughs> anyway, this this one is the one I would buy again. Now, I've, of course, I've found something to replace the Thrive, so we won't be buying the Thrive anymore. We'll be buying, and I know I shouldn't even show this, but I'm going to. We'll be buying the Milani lash extensions. Now, some people ask me, is it exactly? It's not exactly. But that could have been me because I mixed it with a primer yesterday. I need to use it just by itself and see what happens. But I would say the Thrive is a little easier to get off with, in my opinion, the for, on first impressions. But it's close enough that I would not buy the Thrive again. I'll put it that way. Now, primer would be the Essence. Of course, high-end would be the Lancome. I did try several higher-end primers. I did, I have used that one from Estee Lauder, the little back primer before, but it never gave me any, I wanted a little thickness and it never gave me that. But if you want something to put on your lower lashes that keeps it from smudging, that one will do that. But you know, I don't need it just for that reason. Now, as I said, higher end was Lancome, Seals Booster. Which one's the best? I would buy the Seals Booster. I mean, I'm just gonna be real, I would buy it. But now, that's just me. Some people wouldn't, but I would. All right, and you can sometimes get the travel size. But now it does dry it quickly. I'll be honest with you, it does. Okay, setting spray. And I almost forgot about this, but setting spray. I haven't done blush yet. Oh Lord, I gotta do blush. Okay, setting spray. This is one I use the most of. The This is the one from Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day. This is in, this is the one that smells like push up, orange push up ice cream. I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? 
dream sickle. Okay, that's what this is. It's hard to find now, so I don't know if she's gonna quit making it or not. I mean, this this one. But anyway, this is great in the summer. I love the way it smells. It's great because it's it it does set your makeup. It's as good as the Urban Decay or whatever. And now, as far as high end or closer to high end, of course, the Morphe. It's great if you want to glow. I don't think this would actually, if you were going out in the humidity, I don't know that this would work. But it is, I love it. You know, I'll always have it as long as I can get it. Yeah, I'm going to be spraying my face. <laughs> so always. High end, Caudalie. Now, this is not really considered a setting spray. This is considered a beauty elixir. <laughs> but there is no comparison. It just smells so good. And now I have the May Lindstrom. I really like it too, but I still would buy this one again. I would not buy the May Lindstrom again. Okay, blush. And I'm sorry, I forgot about blush. Blush, of course, high end is gonna be Charlotte Tilbury. Did I bring one over here? Probably not. But you know, the one I like best is Ecstasy or Pillow Talk Intense. Now, cream blush, none compares to Saint. And I know that probably a lot of you would probably thought I would put that in foundation, but I didn't start selling Saint for the foundation. Um, there again, if I use it more, it's gonna give me million because of what's in it. Anyway, the blush, the blush. <laughs> and I do like their bronzers. I didn't mention their bronzers, but I do like their cream bronzers. If you want a cream bronzer, the one, my favorite bronzer they make is Bella. But now if you want a lighter shade, tan lines, tan lines is very natural as far as, but the blush I like the best is this one. This is pink grapefruit. I think that's what it is but it's this one. But the one I used the most of, I really used it more as a highlighter, was the one that was a limited edition. And that's why I hate to show it, but it was Summer or Sunshine State. I keep hoping they'll bring it back permanent, but it's, it's gorgeous. Especially as a lip topper and as a cheek topper, it's just, it's amazing. Okay, highlighter. We'll talk about highlighters now. Uh, this is MAC Double Gleam. You can see I've got a dent in it. So that's the one I use the most. And I do remember using this a lot. Um, but I did use that Sunshine State a lot too as a highlighter. Uh, brows. I see, now, Brow Setter, 24 hour from Benefit. I've tried the cheapy ones. I still go back to this one. Now I will say, and I'm not telling you to do this because I know some people would say, oh, don't do that. That's not approved for the eyes. <laughs> Let me just say, I've used it as a lash primer. It works. It works. And the reason I liked it for that is because I noticed the lift stayed longer. So there you have it. And that's all I guess I'll talk about. You know, I really thought at the beginning of the year, I would say the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. And, or that Chanel, and I do like them, but for some reason I just never reached for them. And maybe it was because well, the Chanel, of course, I knew was $70. The Lisa Eldridge was, was a little harder to get, but I knew it was up there that people might not buy it. Of course, I know that NARS is getting on up there. The Lancome's ones are getting outrageous. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're trying to get into more being like considered luxury or what they're doing, but I think this one's $58 now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure to go watch Marsha's video. And if you want to do this video, then go right ahead.
but this was my most used makeup of 2022. Thank you again for watching. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.